Hi, my name is Jaden, and today I'm going to be showing you Solar Analytics. This is a very popular monitoring program used by many of our customers. So let's jump on the computer and see how it works. All right, so jumping straight into the desktop website for Solar Analytics. This is your main page here and you've got different tabs down the left hand side of the screen that's going to give you different information about your solar system, what you're producing, what you're consuming and export figures as well including details about your electricity bill. So firstly in the My Energy Usage section of the app, it gives you a breakdown of what you're producing versus what you're consuming. So here we've got an ideal sunny day where this particular customer has produce 70 kilowatts from their solar and they've only consumed about 32 kilowatts. So as we can see it gives us a very clear breakdown of what the production of the system is versus what the consumption. And so this is a weekly breakdown of what this customer has produced versus what they've consumed and what they've exported to the grid. You can also do monthly breakdowns and a yearly breakdown and you can also do a total breakdown. But for now, we'll just keep it at weekly. Scrolling right down to the bottom, it gives you total consumption and it also gives you total savings and energy costs. If we go down to the next important tab, production, it gives you a full breakdown of what your system is producing. So it'll give you your daily graph of what your system is doing and then it will give you all the different weekly, monthly, yearly, and total. So you can scroll through the different days and find different production numbers for certain times of the year or the month or the week. Down the bottom, total production, total savings again. Here on the solar savings tab, it gives you a full breakdown, weekly, monthly, yearly, and a total of the savings that you've made. So if we scroll down to this breakdown, this is a weekly breakdown of the savings. So the $6.70 is saved through the solar consumption on site. The main aspect of your savings from your solar is going to be from the power that you're using from the solar that is generating for you. This is power that you would usually use from the grid if you didn't have solar. The purple $8.40 is what you've spent on energy imported from the grid. So in other words, this is any consumption that you have consumed outside of solar hours. So whether that's early in the morning or at night after the solar has shut down. The orange, $14.59, is actually money that you've earned through the export. So any power that you don't use from what your solar actually makes for you and you export it, that will be credited back on your power bill from your energy provider because they buy that back from you with the feed-in tariff. So this particular customer has made $14.59 just from export alone. And so down here in a weekly breakdown, this particular customer has saved $21.29. And then energy costs, 53 cents in just one week. On the performance tab, this is a breakdown of how well your system is performing. If there is anything wrong with your solar or it's underperforming in any way, this performance dial will actually tell you that there's an underperformance. If there is a fault with your system and your system isn't producing at all, then it will be a 100% underperformance or a production fault and it will come up here and alert you. So that's the basics of solar analytics. You can always refer to this if you want to know how your system is performing, how many kilowatts you're producing, and how much you're consuming on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Thanks for watching.